sincerely thank you for attending my second lesson, even though you had a difficult les lesson yesterday. I'm pretty sure tomorrow's lecture is, will be easier than yesterday. So I'd like to talk about main, main religions and many religions. I know it's quite controversial, but don't worry about that. I'm not going to say believe in God and go to heaven together like that. <laughs> so we will logically study Bible, the Bible and religions. So we taste the Bible and religions even if you want to claim you do not believe God. There's no God. You have to, you have to know what is the religion. So let me ask you, can you tell me what is the religion as one sentence with the introduction yourself from here? Okay, thank you for thinking my question. Um, actually, religions are very controversial. As far as you're concerned, you might be uncomfortable and it's very, very tough. So many people think um, religions are superstition or a sort of a sort of history book where can we learn morality. But most people don't really know religions. Why many people are so sincere and faithful about their religion, even, even though they are living in 21st century? Are they stupid? No, they are uncountable intelligent people who have religions. So let's think about that after my lesson. And let's review from last lesson. This is my wage, to, wage map, and that's another title of not my. That's another name of my title. And this is typical step that intuitive and intelligent and skeptical people follow. Something happens first in person's life, and they became they became depressed, or all of a the sudden they come they come up with philosophical idea where their family asks some philosophical question. So that's why we just assumed we were really wondering about the natural principles and we learned universe and biology yesterday. So we learned complexity universe and the tipping point singularity before there's nothing. That's why God exists and God is necessary for universe to exist. And we just figure out the cell, how amazing and how complex it is in the cell. And oh, why you listen to my voice, the, your DNA carries signals and making tons and tons of protein like that. So there's so many information and overwhelming. overwhelming. How was yesterday? Overwhelming. Yeah, overwhelming. <laughs> my old video and content were overwhelming and amazing and unbelievable. <laughs> At the same time, it's very difficult. I saw your face say, oh, what are you talking about? Also, I didn't understand from the video. It's too difficult. But my message was not teaching universe and biology. I, intention I intentionally showed the many how amazing and unbelievable complexity of perfect world. Therefore, you could come to think everything is designed by creator who is beyond the human beings. Otherwise, we cannot explain about those complexity world, but perfect world. So, so we are this in break point. As I said yesterday, most people cannot go through this break point. Many people surrender here home. Maybe God exists because of the complexity world, but what can I do? However, some people start doing research on comparison of religions, and they figure out what is the closest to the truth. And they might analyze the Bible, because the Bible is the most dominant and remarkable reference for learning about three major religions. Judaism and Christianity and Islam. So, and then finally we will make our conclusion here. 
So today, first we are going to compare main religions in the world, and we are going to see and check what is the Bible actually is, and we are going to just watch some video and what is the evidence that Bible is true until now, and we have philosophical discussion activity. It could be very fascinating and precious time for your life. So, anyone who has ever tried to know these these kinds of religions, six religions, many scholars believe these six religions are main religions in the world. When I got to travel, before that, I I used to study or. Uh, oh, yeah. understand the religion. Which, which, which religion do you understand? Um, I'm not sure. I don't know, find 100 percent that Christianity, Islam, and uh, Buddhism. Mm -hmm. So I just want survey before starting. Who is Buddhism here? Is there any Buddhism? Nobody? And or Hinduism? Maybe you are not from India. <laughs> and Confucianism. What is the Confucianism? Confucianism is from China. There were very famous um, philosophy teacher. And in Japan, Gongji. In Korea, Gongja. Mm. So. Koshi. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, that sounds like Chinese. So. Or anyone who is Judaism? I think. Oh, sounds, really? Sounds interesting. Oh, interesting. And is there any Christianity? No. No? Any Islam? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's think about it. So first, we are going to talk about first Buddhism. Mm -hmm. you, you understood a little bit about the Buddhism. What is Buddhism? Buddhism is the God is Buddha, no? Uh, but then yeah. Buddhism is a little bit different, I heard, but um, I don't know in Japan a lot of Buddhism culture, cultures because yeah. mm -hmm. funeral is Buddhism style. We we do and we you know we eat soy sauce. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. So I'm not hundred percent sure. Does it, you can talk to my in talk to my that's, uh, description while I'm speaking about that. So there, were, there was one prince 2,005 years ago in India. He was a person who I mentioned very intelligent and inquisitive. And he was wondering about philosophical questions such as why we are in pain. So inter he interpreted this word, interpret means translate with his perspective. And he taught his dharma, which means the truth. So what I'm going to highlight is that Buddha never said about the God. He was the Buddha where the name is a Shakyamuni, but he never said about God and he never said, believe me. He merely hoped to be enlightened, to realize, to break free from samsara. Do you know samsara mean? Mm -hmm. Samsara means uh, just life circle. You know, the death and reverse and death and reverse and reverse maybe you're not gonna be a person or a human as an animal, as an even insect. That's the, he, he believed because life is so pain, painful. Is there any question? So, Hinduism is also very interesting. Is there anyone who heard about the Hinduism before? Oh, which of them? India. <laughs> just, um, not just name, just about the, their rules or something like that. I read a little. Oh, what is it? Well, it said they have many, many gods yeah. for many purposes. And if you want something, you will ask that god for what you want. Oh. And they feel that the gods um, talk to them, influence their lives, are part of their lives. Oh, yes, right. 
And also there are some private food like mm -hmm. pork or mm -hmm. beef. Oh yeah. Like that. There are a lot of strict and severe rules, mm -hmm. especially for women. So Hinduism is very far long history, but interesting is Hinduism is historically dominant religion, but Hinduism came from Brahman religion, which is ancient religion combined in India. One day, Buddhism became popular in India, so Hinduism somehow want to became, become more popular because Hinduism's idea is different from Buddhism, Buddhism's idea. At that time, the king of India wanted to make Hinduism more powerful. So Hinduism became popular more. Therefore, caste system, do you, have you ever heard of caste system? Such a like hierarchy system. Hinduism system reinforced the hierarchy system. Because Buddhism's idea is just people are equal. But Hinduism's idea is People's, people must do their given job. It means even though their, their hierarchy is very low, they have to do, they have to follow in order to liberate it from samsara. That's the Hinduism idea and they have a lot of gods and many many and natural things and many many things could be God, even though even they believe the Buddha also they're one of the God. So nobody know the founder, and this picture is very famous God of Hinduism, Siva. So Confucianism is very actually familiar to Asian cultures. Of course, Korea and. Japanese and especially China, or we've been influenced by Confucianism. Without religious view, there were four famous philosopher teacher in the human history. In Israel, Jesus Christ. In Greek, Socrates. In India, Buddha. In China, Confucius. He loved peace and he created in idea. What is the in idea is simply just to follow our Confucius conscience. So he was a person who desperately studied how should we do based on our morality and our conscience. So Confucianism have been influenced on many Asian cultures. So from now on, Judaism has also very long history. You are Judaism. Yes. So can you explain about the Judaism? <laughs> I'd love to hear, I would love to hear your explanation, and then I could comment. Um, are you comfortable doing that? No. <laughs> because of you. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll, make, I'll make it easy. Judaism is over 5,000 years old. And it began in the desert, in around Israel, Egypt, that area. And the concept is that there is only one God, if you want to give the name of God. But it's more of a presence, an energy that... Um, that gave the people who were, uh, they were nomads, they were travelers in the desert. So it gave them rules on how to live in civilized society. Like law systems of, of not to kill, not to steal, honor, uh, honor your parents, um, how to live together with conscience, good conscience. Okay. And dietary rules. I'm going to focus on comparison of Christianity more. So Judaism is very far from long history and they believe in creator who is Je Jehovah and Yah Yahweh. It's two names but one God. And there was Abraham and Moses. They were they weren't God. Their rule was send God's message to people. So they believe salvation through good words and prayers and grace of God. 
But Christianity also believe in Jehovah and Yahweh. What's the big difference between Christianity and Judaism? Do you, do you know the, what's the big difference? Um, between the, the difference is that Judaism doesn't have one identifiable human being in it. Christianity has chosen a Jesus who was a Jewish priest um, when he was alive as their uh, figurehead, as the person that they will almost um, <clears throat> worship in a way because people can understand a person worshiping a person instead of worshiping something they don't have a, an image of. So we don't believe in a person being a god, we do believe in, in the creator, something outside of humanity. Yes. Christianity and Christian all believe Jesus Christ, who was a person, but Christian believe he was a god. But only um but Ju Judaism don't believe and don't acknowledge the Christian the Jesus Christ as a, their Messiah. Messiah means kind of son of God. They're still waiting for Messiah in the future. And Christianity also their purpose is salvation by grace through faith in only Jesus Christ. So another big difference is Judaism believe there were chosen people by God and they, they, they are something special because the Abraham and Moses was chosen. And then on the other hand, Christianity believe and Jesus Christ said God loves all people. So let's think about that the 2,000 years ago in Israel. At that time, Israel was occupied by Roman Empire and they really hoped to be free from Roman Empire. And probably they had, they had, they had great job, great job against the Roman. And then suddenly, Jesus Christ came to Nazareth and Jerusalem and Israel. And then he said, Oh, he, the all, all, all Jewish people hope to uh, the king who lead the, us win against Rome. They want to be free from the Roman Empire, but Jesus didn't do. Jesus just showed some miracle and just to teach some philosophy and crucify the innocent hands. And Bible said just God's resurrection. Believe or not, the Christianity is at that point is a very big point. So let's recap it because it's very important in contemporary age. So Judaism is the original one, it's a very far history, but suddenly they, 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 thought, they thought, oh, we are chosen people, we are, we are Jewish people. And then Rome, Roman was very powerful, and then they really want to be free from Roman, and they, are, they were waiting for king of Jewish. But Jesus came to land, and then Jesus said, what are you talking about? Oh, I love all people, including Roman people. Yes, I, I choose the Abraham and Moses, that, but it's not that mean. All people are equal. So, Jewish people killed the Jesus Christ. And then all history is from that moment. All Catholic and Vatican and all European history came from that moment. I'd like to make a correction if I may. Yeah. Okay. Um, many people think that it was the Jewish people who killed Jesus Christ, but it wasn't, it was the Romans. Yeah, I know, but J Jewish people root for that situation. Jewish people, Jewish mm. people first so, um, arrested, and then... Well, it wasn't the Jewish people that arrested Jesus Christ. It was the Romans, because the Romans were afraid that, that Jesus Christ would bring all the Jewish people together 
against the Romans. So the Romans arrested him. But one of his own people turned him into the Romans. You know, the old Jewish people like Jesus Christ at the time, but certain the uh, upper crust people really, really hate uh, the Jesus Christ at the time. Uh, the, for example, the movie Son of God also, uh, some very high-ranking high Jewish people arrested the Jesus Christ and then accused, accused the Jesus Christ. And then Roma decided, oh, okay. That's I, the history, but... Oh, I'm not the, going to argue with you in your, yeah. in your lesson. Yeah. But I would suggest that if you, if you look into the politics of the time, go back and, and read, read the Bible, you'll see, even in the New Testament, that maybe the interpretation is a little different. Okay. Okay? Okay. Okay, okay. and Islam, finally. Uh, Islam also based on Abraham and Moses history. And Muhammad in for a long time in Arabia got new holy book called Quran by Angel Gabriel. <coughs> uh, it's different name of the old Bible and then God's name. God's name is Allah. And they have also very severe and strict rules. Like for example they have to pray five times in a day and they also believe salvation by achieving through good works. Okay, now it's time. Actually, I don't have any prepared question, but I'm going to ask some questions impromptu. Mm, what is the in idea? Confucius. Conscious. Conscious. Confucius. In idea. What is in idea? Okay, I will give you a hint. Follow the conscience. Is that the answer? Follow the conscience. Morality. Oh, morality. Um. <laughs> Okay, Ina, that's the answer. <laughs> Follow the, our morality and conscience, just conscience. And what is the Buddha's idea? Mm -hmm. Samsara. Life is painful. We are all equal. Mm, yeah. On the other hand, what is Hinduism? What is Hinduism? Mm, great. Many gods. Okay, so there were two religions don't have God. What is two religions? Buddhism and Confucian. Yes, great. You're such a good student. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is Islam? How different Islam instead of Ju Judaism? Why Islam is different from Judaism? <laughs> I don't know exactly. Yeah. Or Taka? Neither. Ayako? You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Just the it's different thing is just the very similar background, but the, in the middle of the history, just in Arabia, Muhammad got holy new Bible by Gabriel. Of course, the, in detail, there are so many differences, but just the, the gist of message is very similar. Okay, lastly, 
What is big difference between Judaism and Christianity nowadays? Christianity and Judaism and Islam is based on the Bible. Of course, we were already convinced God exists yesterday. That's why Confucianism and Buddhism just accept. And of course, the Islam has another Bible called the Quran. However, Quran also came from the Bible and has us almost the same background in spite of different names. So, what is the Bible? Book. <laughs> yeah, brown book. Textbook. Oh, yeah. Sure. yeah. <laughs> Best seller in the world. <laughs> oh, yeah, good information. <laughs> How about you have? Uh, a book that teaches uh, teachers like life lessons or. Mm. Like, uh, for me, it's pretty. Oh, really yeah. Pretty. Okay, how about you? Mean? It's the, uh, the book about the person. Viola? It's book as Violas? Violas? I don't know. I forgot the Bible. The Bible? No, no, no. Bible, not Bible. Biography? Yeah, biography. Oh. Yeah. It's just yeah. a big person. One more person. <laughs> Samsung. <laughs> Don't see any, any other ones. Fiber? Yeah. Uh, Fiber is a book about Philip. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I think it's better. Yes. 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 Yes
You guys are all atheists. <laughs> atheists. Okay. Moses was very famous, and what he did do in the Bible? He cut the sea. Yeah, <laughs> crossed the Red Sea. He made a road. Yeah. To live. <laughs> Moses and people who follow Moses face the Red Sea while running away from the Egyptian army. It was a big crisis. Obviously, it was going to Holocaust take place. Holocaust by not so many, but Egyptian, 3,000 years ago. Holocaust means slaughter. Genocide to many people. Shall withstand the power of God. Furthermore, the Egyptian army were ruined by Red Sea. Can you believe there are supernatural powers, to be honest? Yes. No. Yes. No. No. Yes. <laughs> yes. How do, you, how do you believe it? I have a dream, so... Oh, <laughs> from dream. Yeah. Stay foolish. Sometimes dream is so powerful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even Christian have a huge doubt about Moses' miracle, and some people believe, oh, the Bible utilized overstatement or metaphor. So, what if we recently found the evidence of Moses' miracle under the deep sea, Red Sea? This is the Egyptian, in Egyptian age, chariot wheel. Chariot means the contempt, contemporary age, the car. Let's watch the video. In the spring of 2000, a robotic camera was lowered into these waters for the first time. Quite long. This has never been done. No one has been in the area at all with a remote control camera. The robotic camera's survey revealed many shapes and objects familiar to Muller, including coral formations with right angles, arches, discs, and straight shafts fused into larger masses that had the appearance of twisted wreckage. Now, when we have been able to go back and forth with a remote control camera, we can repeatedly see that these strange structures we are looking for are there, not at one place, but you see them again and again and again. There are situations where you see something that looks like an axle, a hub, something that looks like a wheel, and you say to yourself, this is not a coral reef, this is a coral growth on an artifact. And that is what's different to me when I compare corals at other locations around the world. Since the earliest explorations at Nueva, one distinctive type of formation has often been identified on the sea floor. A slender, table-like structure, sometimes standing on end, with a coral-encrusted base, a straight shaft, and a circular top. It's a 90 degree angle, a right angle, between something that looks like an axle and the wheel. And you can see this in different varieties, and it looks very different from normal coral roof. And uh, it is like a man-made structure with a coral roof on it. In the midst of them, Pan Qian photographed this circular object attached to what appears to have been a broken axle or hub. This discovery was significant for two reasons. Pantien had documented the coral-encrusted form of a wheel with dimensions similar to ancient Egyptian artifacts directly across from the proposed Nueva crossing site. 
Her find also provided independent confirmation of earlier evidence establishing wheel-like formations on both coasts of the Red Sea in accordance with descriptions in the biblical record. And the Lord looked down on the Egyptian army, and he made the wheels of their chariots come off. Yes, there are another sum of video, another very compelling evidence of the Bible, but we don't have much time because time limit we are going to watch. Written, written, written by someone who, con who communicated with God 3,500 years, 500 years ago. Amazing knowledge of the earth, like the whole magma and evaporate and rain, and the earth is a circle, and we have gravity. But 3,005 years ago, nobody knows. And many scholars insist we have 32,000 evidences. The, the, the evidence is finally true until now. The Bible describes exactly the earth shape and magma. The science knowledge. some question and pay work with your group three three four group okay let's finish okay we're so interesting okay i think we're done do we have a conclusion okay from here what do you do you okay okay go ahead I don't know. Okay. Can I speak? Yes. Here? Okay. Yeah. So, first. So, here, from here? Yes, just feel free to speak. Oh, yeah, okay. So, our purpose of, of our lives is um, to die. Not 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 die because the reason why we are living is because we have like we are we are heading to die, right? So like I, it's a um, just just I came up with this idea, but uh, I can't explain well. But just I thought, yeah, to die we are living. Uh, yeah, and then sounds good, sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> and then we. We or we don't, be, uh, we or we don't have any religions because uh, mm, actually we, uh, I, for my opinion, I've never had any opportunities to believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I've never been to like church or uh, of course, uh, and then in addition, my parents don't believe any religion. So just because I didn't have any opportunity or chance. To yeah, apply or that like, touch. Yeah, so. And then, what is that? Oh, uh, for me, 
uh, maybe God exists, but I don't know which which God is really popular. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't have, I don't maybe I don't have a faith about God. That's why I didn't. Yeah. Yes. Ah, yeah. I don't believe. I don't believe in Islam because I believe myself. My belief. Every uh, on every, I believe this sentence. On every may sometimes turn out to be blessing. Mm. In this piece, this piece. Oh. Disguise. Disguise. Yeah. Mm. And this, in my opinion, like I don't want if some something happens, I don't want to like rely on the religion. Yeah, mm. because I I don't know exactly, but many people think that if some when some something happens, they believe that oh thanks to God or thanks something. But I don't want to yeah think about a thing like this. So that's why. Okay. How about this group? Um, we discussed about the first first questions um, in aspects of religion and science. So both of aspects, um, as we thought, the purpose of our lives um, can make our life better and happy than before or not, mm -hmm. or everything, so whatever. Not only human, but also the nature or something, everything. That is our answer, and we don't have enough time to discuss that kind of questions. Okay. So, as she said, maybe in Taiwan, uh, mm, we have a kind of religion mm -hmm. we call Bon Bon Bon. It's a combined of Buddhism and Confucian. Mm -hmm. But we are not so strongly believe just if you have something bad or sad things, we will go to the temple to pray mm -hmm. and it will like a support and can release our stress or something. Okay. Last group. <coughs> uh, all of our groups focus are about happiness. All of us for pursue uh, our own happiness or others' happiness, and um, there's no one who believe in God, but there's uh, who believes in a creator exists, but she doesn't believe that it's God, and. Uh, our, our opinion is all undecided. Mm. So I cannot tell a certain answer. Okay, just in conclusion, I hope my lesson will just understa understandable, even if you are very uncomfortable. Just this is knowledge of religions. If you talk to talk to friend about the religions. You have the basic religion of each religion. Uh, you can explain and you can you can argue with the other people. So we would just follow the steps of faith to God. So through lecture one and lecture two, actually we just tasted tasted the entire step rather than studying and analyzing. You know the studying and analyzing is very deep level. So. You can do after this lesson, but if you study religions and the Bible, you easily can find the very interesting things. So, the Bible have a full of history and wisdom. It's not just a superstition, superstition and fiction. Everything is very changing rapidly, but truth and wisdom and history never will change. Most people come up with philosophical questions from time to time. Why we are here? Why we exist? Is there a God? 
everything happened by coincidence, like that. Have you ever felt empty after something achieving? Most young people don't care about those questions, but who knows? You will contemplate that those questions after before dying. Then just to remind my lecture in Toronto and just reference this map and just to follow the procedure we learned and try to find the answer of the truth. The answer is not in your company, not in your family, not in your computer. Thank you.